Mercedes F1 team has some good news at last. Without further ado, please consider subscribing and liking the video it helps me out more than you think. Now let's jump into the Mercedes update. According to the latest simulator testing, James Allison has revealed some positive early signs about the W15, last season the W14 suffered from rear stability and both Mercedes drivers lacked confidence to throw the car into corners and come out in one piece, that's where most of the time was lost to the likes of Red Bull and later to McLaren. Mercedes F1 technical director James Allison said, some of the more spiteful characteristics of the rear end of our car will be a bit more friendly to us and the handling of the car a happier thing. That's all in simulation, but nevertheless we've got reasonable grounds to believe that we've made some gain there. Then, on top of that, just making it lighter, making it more downforcey, and hopefully getting a bit of uplift from the power unit side with the calibration level tinkering that they're still capable of doing under these current rules, whether it's enough, time will tell. But it's nevertheless going to be interesting because we saw some things, we knew were problems, we've hypothesized what the reason for those problems were and we've fixed those reasons. Many F1 pundits still expect Red Bull to have the upper hand at the start of the season next month. Mercedes is expected to reveal the W15 in a digital launch event at Silverstone on Wednesday, February 14th. Hopefully for Mercedes F1 fans this season doesn't turn out to be a nightmare like the last two seasons. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more all-around sports analysis.